السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه الفائزين بدل الله respected personalities and all my dear and beloved friends well thank you for being here with me today and I am a famous pleasure and privilege to share some thoughts on the topic sexual minorities and homosexuality how to deal with the gender questions in Islam we all know that the sexual minorities are a group of people whose gender identity or sexual orientation or sexual characters are different from that of the majority majority like homosexual bisexual or other kinds of pseudophilia or all other transgenders and many other gay lesbian all these these types of uh, sexual orientation comes under the banner of the sexual minorities and for taking for example the homosexuality when we take on the homosexuality which is having a kind of sexual desire towards the towards, towards the, the towards, towards, um, towards uh, their own sex, their own sex as kind of uh, a kind of uh, as a for example gay or lesbian who have uh, their own um, sexual orientation towards the boys have uh, sexual orientation towards the men and for the women uh, towards the women and here the homosexuality have different many kinds of problems one of the diff one of the studies in the Texas University under the Rene Magritte and in in his studies named as the new study on the structure new structure of the society he teaches about that the homosexuality will uh, pay way a kind of different kinds of uh, for problems within our society for example the sexual uh, the uh, the intercourse between the men and men and men and uh, women and women will pay away a kind of uh, a kind of a uh, different problems for example even HIV and also um, the anal cancer and these all kinds of problems uh, the anal syndrome and, uh, and many other kinds of uh, uh, problems related to the anal and these kinds of comes under towards the many majority of the students majority of the people who are aligned towards these sexual minorities comes as an attack towards this problem and when we come to the the Islamic teachings it could be very crystal clear that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was rejected these kinds of sexual orientation why because the um, the prophetic tradition and even the Quran says that the Quran teaches in the Ashura Ashura surah that ataituna dhukurana أتؤتون ذكرانا من العالمين وتذرون الماج ما خلق لكم ربكم من أزواجكم من أزواجكم which means that you are appearing towards the woman as kinds of the us the people in the loot عليه الصلاة والسلام's community and when we come to the point what is means that the even the tuhfa and all the our fatuhul muin and through this this all our the classical text in Islamic jurisprudence teaches about what kind of what is the problem of the homosexuality and these kinds of problems and when we come to the another part of the when we how to Islam deal with these problems or to other another section it could be very crystal clear that Islamic jurisprudence teaches about how to punish these kinds of people one of the fundamental problem of these kinds of social minorities that it is not a, it is not genetics many of the studies in the universities and many Western countries it teaches that these kinds of problems never arise from the genetic or hereditary but it is a kind of psychological problem problem which can be treated by treated by uh, through the resources through the researchers and by the by the doctors through the operation so if we are, are linked towards these kinds of problems of the sexual minority sexual orientation it is not of genetics or it is not of a hereditary but of a psychological problem and this psychological order can be um, delineated by doing these kinds of, uh, 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 of these studies and this way we can by the by using of this kinds of technological uh, advancement in the modern te modern technology we can reduce these kinds of the problem and when we come to the point what of the other problem is that uh, this homosexuality if we try to legalize these kinds of homosexuality what happens means these people the liberal ideologists will try to prove these kinds of ideology along with the problems of the another sexual minorities like the pseudophilia which uh, which is a kind of sexual desire towards the children and other kind of uh, inter insects which is a uh, sexual dual dis uh, the sexual desire towards fathers or towards the mothers towards sisters these all kinds of uh, these all kinds of sexual problem it is not it, it, it is very
God is crystal clear that this all are not about it's not comes under a genetics or not comes under from the hereditary but this all comes under from the psychological disorder which can be treated and uh, uh, when we come to the islamic point of view it could be very crystal clear that the all even though the, even it is transgender which even though they are khunsa mushkil or khunsa uh, if if it is a khunsa or transgender if they are uh, if they are boiling point if they are uh, they are the mamba ul bawl is about the women it the, they have their rights and the ideology the all rights of uh, uh, the all rights of um, women and if the if it is about uh, men and they will give the rights of the uh, women and in this way islam tries to deal with their by uh, even though they have and one another problem if even though this kind of sexual minorities have numerous problems what is the fundamental and here arises one another question how they they do will deal with this kinds of problem how they will sacrifice how they can sacrifice or how can they achieve their sexual desire when we to come to community we know that in an islamic perspective we live in a mundane world when we live in a, a world where, where it have many many problem many limitation and when we live in this community we should have we are under the under the we are the creators or we are the um, the people who have to be forced or who have to be supposed to believe in the almighty god and if we believe in almighty allah we will have a sexual desire even though if we have uh, uh, many problems or limitation to have a sexual desire for this kind of sexual minorities we can overcome this problem by having by sacrificing these kinds of problems in this uh, in this mundane world and also by by going to the hereafter life and having a kind of a uh, very desirable life in in after jannah this i would like to conclude my words by telling that even though the liberal side you are just uh, have trying to convince to trying to argue and there is voice for as criticism against the islamic uh, ideology islamic dealings islamic uh, ideologies of the islamic jurisprudence we have correct and clear and cut clear cut teachings and teachings in islamic jurisprudence islamic theology islamic classical theology whatever it is that's i would like to conclude my words thank you for being here with me today assalamu alaikum wa